Hello, this is Matt Franco, and my story topic for my final is going to be the following, just titled, Francis Tiafo Broke the Tennis World. Does it need to be fixed? So I'm going to start off this story, just a little bit of backstory, both on the tennis world and Francis Tiafo as well. So Tiafo is the 15th ranked player and currently in the world for men's tennis. Uh, however, more, more players tend to come from more tennis-oriented backgrounds, he did not. He was the son of immigrants from Sierra Leone, a very lower class family uh, based out of Maryland. And his dad worked at a tennis center in local Maryland area as a janitor. And so the family would sleep on the floor and just didn't have a lot to their name at the moment. However, over the course of his time there, he began practicing the sport. Eventually, a coach noticed his talent and started training him. And he's eventually gotten to the point where he's at today. And where he's, like I said, a top 15 player with wins over some of the best players to ever play, including Rafael Nadal. Now, in terms of the whole tennis world, this is a highly, highly unique story because being a tennis pro both in terms of actually competing at a high level currently, as well as just being raised to be a professional in general is incredibly expensive. In the United States, most of the tennis pros are former players, uh, the, or, excuse me, the children of former players, such as Ben Shelton, who just was a quarterfinalist at the Australian Open, or Jessica Pagula, who's also a quarterfinalist top five, who comes from billionaires. You have to be very rich or have a lot of connections within the sport normally to have your child go pro professionally because of the costs. Estimated cost of developing a child into tennis, this is as of 2019, was about $50,000 a year. And once again, that can go up as it goes along. Tournament fees can run you tens of thousands of dollars, different equipment, facilities, and the like. And then once you actually do become professional, it will cost you maybe $150,000 a year at minimum to become a pro. And obviously, the further you get along in the rankings, the more expensive it'll get. Now, my story topic, I want to divide it into three parts. Firstly, is to tell the story of Tiafo as it compares to the other tennis pros, just how differently he came up in the industry and how he's managed to make a name for himself here. Explain the costs of everything behind being a tennis professional, from being developed to be one as a kid, all the way through how it becomes more expensive to be one when you're an adult, and discuss if the costs affiliated can be justified or if it can be avoided, like in Tiafo's case. So why this story in particular? This story in particular, I think, is important because if there's not only just Tiafo from the United States becoming professional tennis players, it's really kind of taking over uh, in the U.S. as well. There's a lot of players, Pagula, Taylor Fritz, some other ones who have become top 10 talents in the world. And it's becoming a little bit of a rise, especially coinciding with the retirement of the big three known as Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic. Those three are either already retired or on their way out in the next couple of years. And there's a really big gap at the top of the tennis world where some people might think the United States has a good chance of winning some grand slams or getting into the top five rankings. Tiafo himself is personally entering into the prime of his career. He was the youngest ever American man to win a national, to win an ATP tour championship. And he could only keep growing from here. And as the success of tennis grows, both men and women's side, more parents might look to get their kids involved in the sport, which once again, begs the question of how important will it be? And will it continue to be that important or even more so uh, will it continue to be that expensive? and may let even in increase prices in the future. So me particularly, I'm a lifelong tennis fan. I've been in the game ever since basically I was involved in sports. Uh, my grandma, who's in the picture, got me into it at a very young age. And honestly, I was hooked ever from the beginning. And while I'm not that good at playing myself, it's something I do spend a lot of time watching a ton of tournaments, as well as I'm a very big Tiafo fan as well. I love his story and I love his gameplay. I, work, I have some experience. I worked for the USTA, the United States Tennis Association, back in 2019, and I got to learn a little bit of the ins and outs, including seeing some training facilities and some different facilities around the area as well, and just seeing how the tennis players go about their routine leading up to their tennis matches. And personally, I would like to get a little more involved in the sport, as well as down the line when I eventually have future kids. It's something that I would like to have them be a part of as well to see how serious we can be about the sport. So the format of the project is that I want to make a documentary style YouTube video to kind of encompass all of my different aspects of the project. Well, firstly, I want to do my detailed write up just on the history and the future of tennis programs. And then moving on from that, this YouTube video that I want to do will include various graphs with data. There's a lot of data to be had here, both in the costs and also just associated with how pro you get, seeing the kind of rise up from if you know, you're a lower level player, how expensive that cost to if you're Rafael Nadal, how expensive that is. And also just in terms of growing your kid as well, you know, how expensive is it to raise your kid to be a tennis pro when he's six? Or what if you start when he's 10? Does that limit the success? Do you still have the same odds? There's a lot to look into in that regard. There's a lot of interviews I want to conduct as well um, with various different facilities around the state of New Jersey where I currently reside. There are several that host uh, USTA affiliated tournaments and have a lot of programs where they do a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. 
I want to interview some of those coaches and some of those training facility members just to get a better understanding of the cost affiliated and what they deal with, as well as just an overall day in the view of what it would go through to become a tennis pro, just to see what a normal training regimen is look like. Because on top of just, you know, the cost money wise, you also have to put in a ton of hours to be a pro, which is a very, you know, important part of that as well. It's several hours a day for multiple years of your life. Most of your childhood is dedicated just to the game on top of all the actual monetary costs as well. Um, moving on from there, I do want to focus a lot on Tiapo as well. While this is mostly a story about the cost of tennis, I feel like explaining him as kind of an outlier helps to prove the point maybe of why, if there is a point there at all, I still have to, you know, formulate and finalize my uh, decision here. But to kind of focus on Tiafo there and see him as a little bit of an outlier. And then overall, just look at the future of tennis really is what we're getting down to. Like I mentioned before, there are several top 10 talents and some that might be emerging in recent and upcoming years. So just to see, will the price stay the same? Will it get more expensive? And just to overall go through the cost of it in general. Thank you.